Hello, today I show you how to use Geometry Cut Photoshop action and here is some of results you can make with this action. Ok, and firstly some recommendation for optimal use of action. Use a good quality pictures. I recommend using a photo with a resolution between 2000 and 4000 pixels on one axis for best effect. Actually, I recommend using a resolution 2000 pixels and more for portraits photos and 3500 pixels and more for full bodies photos. So, if you have too small or too big a resolution, just open your photo, then go to the image, image size and change width or height value. Okay. And before your section, you need to do the steps. Make sure that you're using the English version of Photoshop and if you use version with another language, watch the video how to change language. The link under this video. Second step, go to image, mode and check the RGB color and 8 bits channel. And last step, just for CS5 and highest versions, click on menu icon at the right, select panel options and check the add copy to copy it lesson groups. Ok, that's all. Now how to use action. First open your image and one more important thing. Your photo need to have the background view. So if your photo have this view, you just need to select the photo, then go to the layer, new and select background from layer. Now it's ok. Next step open brushes file, for that go to the edit, press it. Preset Manager, in Preset Type select Brushes, click Load, then go to the Load folder and make double click on Geometry Cut Brushes file. Ok, done. Next step, open Patterns file, for that go to the Edit, Presets, Preset Manager, now in Preset Type select Patterns, click Load, Go to the load folder again and make double click on Geometry Cut Patterns file. And next step open Action file. For that go to the window, Actions, click on menu icon at the right, select Load Actions, go to the load folder again and make double click on Geometry Cut Photoshop action. Ok, next step create a new layer and name it Area. And please don't use the caps lock. Paint on this layer the area that you need to focus, for that you can use some of lesser tools, quick selection tool, magic vent tool, or you can use brush tool. For that image I'm gonna use a quick selection tool. You can use any colors. When you paint in the area, open the action panel, for that go to the window, actions, find action on the action list, open it and click play. But before you click play, please make sure that the opacity and flow of brush tool is 100%. Ok, click play. Wait a few minutes, that Photoshop make all actions Speed of action work depends on the power of your computer. And I'm a little scroll at this step. Ok, when action finishes work, you can change the final composition. And now I show you how to make this. In final composition we have 5 folders. It's background elements, your object elements, 5 quick color variations, 10 color effects and color and contour settings of all image. Let's start from background elements folder. In this folder you can change the background color. This folder contains three folders with layers. It's back Abstract shadows, back grids and back abstract elements. So if you want to erase some space of 
this effect, just select the layer mask, select brush tool, select black color, and just paint where you want to erase. If you want to make visible this effect, paint with white color. Okay, and this folder contains color and contour settings of background folder. Uh, in this folder you can change uh, brightness and contrast of background. You can add color tone to background. And you can change the hue and saturation of your background. And this folder contains a very important folder, it's quick color change. Just make visible this folder. And now you can change uh, three colors of background, of background elements. It's very easy. Okay, the next folder it's your object elements folder. In this folder you can change the object back color. This folder contains abstract pattern. And this folder contains uh, folders with uh, shadow elements, object line shapes, object grids, other elements, shadow elements, and another object grids. So if you want to erase some space of one of this effect, just select the layer mask. Select brush tool, black color, and just paint where you want to erase. If you want to make visible, select white color and paint again. And also you can hide uh, some of these layers if you want. You can move these layers. And if you want, you can scale this lace. Okay. And this folder also contains color and contrast settings folder. In this folder, you can change brightness and contrast of your background, change hue and saturation of your background, add color tone. And you can make visible quick color change of object elements folder. And you can easy change color of all elements.
it's very easy. Okay, in the next folder it's five quick color variations. If you want to change some of color of this effect, just make double click on layer icon, click on gradient and just change the color where you want. Okay, the next folder it's 10 color efforts. And the last folder it's color and contrast settings of all image. This folder contains a folder with other ads. You can add original color. Of course, you can change the opacity of this layer. Also, this folder contains shadow frame and abstract texture. Also, in this folder you can add gradient to all image. If you want to change the color of gradient, just make double click on this layer, select gradient and change the color. You can add photo filter to all image. You can change hue and saturation of all image. You can change brightness and contrast of all image. And you can add color tone to all image. So it's ready. Here is result. Now you need just save. Thanks for watching and good luck.